Yeah, whenever you are. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me um, on the Bell Rose launch that we're doing. Oh my goodness, I fell in love with this collection right from the very beginning as soon as I knew we were going to do these. But this is the, only the first of many to come. So these are going to be our over the edge dies and I'll explain all of that later on. But first of all, let me just show you these dies. So our first one is going to be the rose and we've got one different flower for every month coming up. So if you're going to collect them, really jump in now and start now, right at the very beginning. So we have, look at that, isn't that just beautiful, beautiful rose? And these have got something that's really quite special. We have a, a split unity die on these. So there's actually three dies here and I'll go through the boards and explain that. So first of all, we have the language of love. Moving on to my particular favourite is our single red rose. Again, three dies, the split unity with that one. Then we have our heartfelt. Now this is just divine, beautiful heart, all the lovely roses in here. And again, remember for this one, we've got something quite special coming up, haven't we? We've got Valentine's on the way. So this would be fabulous to make all those Valentine's cards. And remember, our policy, our angel policy, make and sell. So this is going to be winging its way to you really soon. And then you can get all your Valentine's cards ready to go. Now, this one is a little bit different. This split unity has four split unity. So there's lots going on with this. Do it in many different ways. Then we have from me to you and these are just beautiful now these are a smaller version of the original two um single rose and language of love but again you're getting four dies you've actually got a solid outline with these two then finally build a bouquet and this again fabulous technology it's all on a swift so one pass through cuts all the dies out for you and it is really this is just a fabulous collection because of what you can actually build with it. It is beautiful. Now you're going to say, what's all this um, split unity that you're talking about? So let's start with the larger die like we started. So this one is our beautiful language of love. Okay, so it is glorious. And this is it cut out in white. So that's what it looks like on its own. Then we have those two extra pieces. Now they are actually split, okay? There's two, like, a, like they are split. There's two, they're straight down the middle, like so. So then if you put them together and tape them down onto your cardstock, you get a solid outline. If you take one of them, you then get one edge, which you can go one way and then the other one goes on the other edge. So the possibilities are endless with these because not only can you do just one over the edge, you can then create a gatefold with them as well. So it is really, really clever. One of my favorite things this, when we give in so much versatility with just one die. So that is then the language of love. Then we have beautiful, I love this rose. As soon as I saw it, this was my favourite. We have the single red rose and the same principle again. This is another one that is split unity. So we have our die cut, put both splits together and it creates your matte layer. And then you can use them singularly if I put them down the right way. You'll get different over the edge. But on this one, you can do it over the edge or again, you can create those gatefold cards. Then we have our lovely heartfelt and like I said we've got four ways with this and it's really interesting that we how many we can use it so on this one I've just used it one way so we have the split unity on this we've got four so we've got one two three and four okay now to create this is just the die cut all four put together and taped down will give you your matte layer for your die cut but then look what you're able to do. Now I've got some samples here that I'm going to show you shortly of the effect that you get with this. But by using just the two bottom ones, 
we've created a V. We can then map that onto the top, the beautiful floral on top of that. So again, super, super clever. Then we have our From Me To You. So again, the smaller versions of them all, but these are gonna be beautiful to add and make those bouquets because you do get the smaller roses, you do get the ones that are only in a small bud. So these are again, building on and adding to the versatility of the collection. And then finally, build a bouquet. Now, again, fabulous, because when you build a bouquet, you do want those extra elements. So these are all the die cuts, the whites, but then that one pass gets you all of these cut in one, one go. You've got an extra stem, which is gonna be wonderful because then you can switch out all your other rose heads when you, you can chop them up and actually swap them out. We've got a proper rose bud in different uh, uh, you know stages of growth. So we've got the first one, then we've got the one with a little bit of color. And then of course you can then go with the actual single red rose. And then we're giving you all of this foliage that then will make a fabulous bouquet. That is everything that we've got in the collection, but it's not, or it doesn't end there. So we've got the red download, which is what we've got on the website. So when you buy it, you get the red one free, but we've got extra colorways. Let me get this one. So we've got extra colorways. You are gonna get 15 colorways on that you can purchase on the website and then there are an extra 10 colorways within a USB that you can also buy alongside this. So every one that you've seen, all five of these dies, I've got 15 different colorways plus the free one, okay? And then We've got an extra 10, again, all different. So you're gonna end up with 25 different colorways for all of your roses. Now that doesn't matter whether it's the heart, whether it's the builder bouquet from me to you or the actual two larger blooms. So look at all these colorways, look at that. So we've gone from pink to orange, a blush. They, look, that's one of my favorites. That is just glorious, lovely deep wine plum color. Look at that, aren't they fabulous? A lemon. Um, we've done this because obviously when with roses, as in with birthstones, each month has got a different flower, but also flowers have meanings and it means different things in different colorways. So that's why we've compiled all the different colors for you. So you can then build from them. So. Oh, the USB is just fabulous. So the whole bundle is $71.95, okay? Now, we're selling the, we've got it today as $49.95. So you're saving £22, which is fabulous. So then we've also got Club, Club Highlights price. So when we're getting even more benefit from having that, it's $44.96. So then you're saving $26.99. So uh, the USB to go with that, which is those extra colorways that I told you about, that aren't on the downloadable, they're not on the website, you can only get them within the USB, is $29.99. And then for Club Highlight members, you've got $26.99. So you, again, you've got that saving. So it's just brilliant. And I would get everything together, even go for the USB as well, because there'll always be that one that you want something different. And to get 25 colorways is wonderful and like i say this is not the first one okay we've got lots of these coming up so and we've got all year planned out as well which is fabulous so let's move on i've got a little demo here for you if i grab all of it so i'm going to show you some of the other colorways as well so i've gone ahead and I've cut myself with my fundamentals, I've cut myself a little heart shape, okay, and turned it into an easel card. I've done a little bit of inking, and I've already done a little bit of decoupage, but I'm gonna pop it together because I want to then show you my cuts and where to cut it. So this is going on the base, that goes down here. 
like so. Okay, so that's finishing that off. But to do that, I'm going to chop off this. Now, this one is uh, from the Bella Rose, but it's with the With Love collection. That's where you're going to find that one if you want to get that on its own with this actual floral wreath. So get my scissors, grab my glue, which is... Bear with me a second. In fact, we'll go with my tape. Pop a little bit of tape on here. And then, and these are so detailed, the dies, cutting into everything to create the decoupage is so easy. It is fabulous. Now, all of those fabulous uh, ladies and gentlemen that came along to our sand down workshop will have already worked with all of this and I know that there's lots of you out there so hello to all of you because I told you that I'd be coming and doing this with you all. Um, I know that you'll all be waiting to see the demonstrations but you also worked with the collection so you got a little sneaky peek and a little play first of all. Now on there on our um, workshop day we did quite a few samples because we had a, a quite a, a few of you with us and we always do one sample of each project to pop onto the um, table so you can see what it is that you're making now i have them with me and we're going to give them away or a few of them away okay i've got four samples and i'll show you them shortly so now I've finished off that actual topper so that is finishing off there and all I've done is popped on my frame around this one. So I've built up my, my actual topper here and then this I'm going to pop on like so. But then I'm going to do a little bit of decoupage on this base, which is then going to create my stopper to actually hold everything together. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so we've got a little giveaway. So we've got four different samples, two of which are the lovely hearts that you can see at the moment. So that is now going to sit on there. And again, I'm going to flip that over as I did last time and I trim away that excess where that fold is. And then I'm going to cut into it and create a stepper by cutting into these, a stopper, sorry. So now get my cuts. I'm going to retrieve my scissors off the floor, like so, so excuse me. Now again, let me turn this over because it's easier to show you on the reverse just how much detail are run in these dies. So look at all these snips and how we can change and cut into all of this. It's brilliant. So I'm going to have a little look and stand my easel up and I know that I want this rose here and maybe a little bit extra, maybe the leaves, to actually create my stopper for this. So that's the ones I'm going to snip into. So I'm going to keep this rose and some of that leaf there. And you can just, you can see that I go jump from one to the next. Glasses on. And then the next little pip. It's super easy to do. Like this all the way around and it's just jumping from one little pip to the next and all this that I'm chopping off none of it is going to go to waste I'm going to keep all of it so that's my first layer well that one's my first this is my second so my my third layer I'm actually only going to go for the main rose itself okay so I want to keep this here so now Snipping in two, I'll go in this side and then in through there. And that one, each one, each, every time I snip a little pip, it jumps to the next one. If you can see my scissors, they, they like jump about like so. all the way around and then I'm going to keep the leaf though but all of those extra pieces I'm going to keep as well so I'll tidy this up like that 
Now then I'm going to use my foam tape and I'm only going to shape it just by using my fingers. That is going to go on there, that one on there, and then layer them up together. So this one first, and it's super easy when you're doing decoupage. I literally look for that piece like that. And you can also, don't forget, use your other mediums because there are many other different mediums. You can actually glue them flat across this edge and just add a tiny little bit of glue underneath there um, and have that piece free. So that is that one. Keep all my extra little pieces. In fact, I had a little rosebud there. I'm going to borrow back that rosebud. Snip that little piece away. Pop a tiny bit of tape on. Got the biggest scissors in the world. I think they're my wallpapering scissors. Put them on there. And then I'm going to tuck this in just behind there just to make it a point of difference that it's a little bit different so then that actually becomes my stopper for my card like so isn't that beautiful but the artwork is incredible so all i've done there is use white cardstock that little frame my lovely heart and a little bit of green ink it is just fabulous and that can be done then in all the other colourways that we've got on there as well. It is fantastic. There's a lot of colour going on there. There's a lot happening in that one. So that is the first one. So now I'm going to go through a few of the samples just because they are incredible. And then I'm going to show you finally just how that over the edge split unity actually works. Now you keep saying, Amanda, you keep talking about that. Yeah, I'm going to show, show you because it is fabulous. Now, this is what I mean by over the edge. OK, so if I hold that up, can you see? All of that edge has been cut away. If I go like that, you can see it definitely, can't you? That's wonderful. So that when it stands up, the whole of that side of the card is missing. And that is the unity die, okay? The split unity. You wouldn't be able to do that without us doing the split. So that is one of them. Then we have, look at this. That is my favourite. So on this one, I've used a little bit of the Red Robins. It doesn't matter which one it is. I've just chosen it just because it's got a little bit of red in the bottom to add and accentuate the colour in the red rose. So then it's balanced it. Then I've got a lot of green going on in the middle and I've then brought it all the way across to the other side. So I've got that green band there and I've got the green of my leaves in the middle and I've got my red, which is then balancing my card. Just love this one. Then we've also got, oh, aren't they beautiful? So even making your boxes, this is fabulous. And look at the detail and how much depth that we've got going on with that. Again, that is decoupaging that up. These are your smaller ones from me to you. Then we've got them spoiled for choice. I'm trying to find, this is the one I'm looking for. Now, right at the very beginning, I showed you on that split unity that I'd cut the V. And this is what you can do with it. So that is an over the edge card, totally different to what you would generally see, that it's at the bottom of the card. So now when that stands up, this piece is the actually what it stands up on. It's what it balances on. It's fabulous. Then we've got some incredible colourways. So within your colourways, you're going to get the rainbow. Now, I think this is just stunning. How fabulous is that? And it's also been done on acetate. Beautiful card. This is the inspiration that we had for our um, actual make and take. Uh, sorry, not our making tech, our workshop at Crafting Live. Now, this was done by our, yes, it was Louise. This was done by our lovely Louise, okay? Louise Patton, she's one of our DT members. So we took the inspiration of this and created this for our actual workshop, one of our projects. So this is what we'll be giving away. So we've got two of these and then 
those uh, wreaths that you saw me using, we've got two of these. So if you comment, only just, just a little comment, just even if you just say hello, also on the YouTube one as well. So comment on there. So we're going to pick one from YouTube and uh, remind me what the other one is from me, please, Andrew. YouTube and in our comments, um, Facebook. So YouTube and Facebook will pick four, very random. You've just got to say, hi, I'm enjoying it. Or whether, tell us if you went to Crafting Live or um, if you bought the collection. We'd love to know. And have you already opened it and started playing? So again, oh, that over the edge, isn't it spectacular? And having it in the different colorways. Now I've got to say, one of my absolute favorites, has got to be this. So this is the most beautiful piece of home decor. That is what you can do to actually build a bouquet. Isn't that just fantastic? Okay, so the prices for the whole collection. So now you've seen those extra colorways, that's why you can see, that's why you need them. So you've got all that vers versatility. So our full collection is $71.95. Today it's $49.95, a saving of 22 pounds. Our club highlight members get even more savings. So you're gonna get it down to $44.96. And then also, adding that additional USB. Today it's $29.99, but all our lovely Club Highlight members, it's $26.99. And remember, all that is adding points as well. So you're gonna get your points. So that's also an added bonus with our uh, Highlight members. Um, it's, it's incredible. I know you're gonna love it. There's so much there that you can do with it, but I just want to quickly show you how the Split Unity actually works. So super quick, rather than, so I have here a piece of cardstock, okay, and I'm just going to fold that over like so, and I'm not really worried about where that is, okay, I'm just going to fold it over, okay, and crease that down there. Now I'm going to work with my larger of my two flowers, so... I'm working with this one and all you've got to remember is which way it is so your your cutting plate your die needs to be face down so I want it to this edge so then I want that side and then match them up and then I've got to capture it and at the moment I'm not thinking about where the positioning is I'm just kind of getting it in the middle, okay? And then I'll seal that down. Once I've captured that edge, oops, I'm gonna take away my main die. There we go. I'm gonna pop it through the machine. Now, normally to get uh, the effect like this, you would have to have it hanging over the edge of your plate. Well, now, because we've done the unity, Make sure I've got that in the right place because my tape moved. That's my fault. Okay, we've, we've taken that away. You don't have to do that. So you choose which side you're actually going to, which piece of the unity you're going to have. Now, like I say, this isn't the first, this is the first one of um, one every month. So every month there's going to be a new flower. Again, split unity. So it's going to be over the edge. And also you're going to get other dies with it. So um, we have got the rose and all the year is already planned. So it's really super exciting. I know I'm really excited about it. And it's going to moving forward, there's going to be one every month. So like I say, if you're going to get in there to collect it, start now. So I've now taken away those two pieces. Pop that back on my metal shim so I don't lose it. Now this is where I've now got even more choices. So I can either just go in and trim straight down like that to that, take that away and then like so. And then I've still got my over the edge piece but that is now, we can throw that away. Or I can then 
trim along and have it the size of the actual floral. It's entirely up to you which way you actually do this. So then you have, they are here because I've got lots of them cut out. Here we go. I am actually going to cut this down and trim it down. So that's how the split unity works. It's super, super simple. Don't be worried about thinking, I'm never gonna get that to work. All you've got to do, I don't, I don't think about the size straight away. I literally fold my cardstock over and just place it in the middle. And then I worry about what size it is or what size I actually want it to be. On this occasion, I am going to trim it down. Again, super simple, like so. So now that is giving me my card blank. I can then add my mats and layers on the inside, like this. And I'm not one for doing the measuring. I'm just put two little marks and cut that out. Then I can layer up my image. So that's my first one. That's my inside mat, let's say, like this. And then one of the images I've chosen, again, looking at the colors, I'm gonna choose my actual rose. Okay, so we've got these beautiful, look at these. They are gorgeous. So I can either go with the yellows or that orange. I could actually use both of them together if I wanted to. But I think for this one, I'm gonna go more with the yellow. So, first of all, yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. And my unity is that side. So I want to pop in my unity again. And I'm just guessing, I'm not, I'm not particularly precious about where that is because we're still gonna guillotine that down and make it fit where we need it to fit, okay? So now I'm gonna cut that out. And once you get that, the hang of doing these, it is quite quick to build them. And add a little bit of green cardstock onto this one. So these are just my basic mats and layers, which will then complement all these fabulous colours that are in the backing paper I've chosen. So like I say, I don't do a lot of measuring as such. Find that little mark. That one is going on there. And then I have my Unity die again. Now I know already, take that away, put that out of the way. This tape is just fabulous. Pop that back on my board. Now I can see where that is cut. I'm going to trim that down first of all, kind of roughly where I want it to be. And then again, this side, up to where that is, like so, using my smooth scissors. Now all I've got these little tiny pips, I'm just gonna snip that away. And that one, that is now my matte layer that I'm gonna pop on here, but I'm gonna slide it back a little bit. So I get that little tiny edge on there, but that is going to be my green piece on here. So again, I need to just cut that down again. Like I say, it's just, you. I don't me measure, I literally lay it in place and then put a little mark. Like so. Because I find it easy, it works easier for me. Then chop that little bit off. that little bit and I find this an 
easier way of working with it. Pop on my tape. Pop this on first because I want that green to tidy up that edge. That's why I wasn't too fussy about where this finished. Okay, so that is going there. That is then going to finish the front of my card off. Again, balancing that green that I wanted. That goes on like that. Mark that up on top. Like so. Then I've got the rest of what I've got left. I'm going to trim off straight and then I can see that is going to sit inside. Just there and there. Like so. And to put my mats together. Oops. A little bit of glue on both of them. So that's my first green mat. Again, this is then balancing and bringing both colours from the back to the front. That one on here. Now that balances this and then that beautiful floral that we've got. And it really is spectacular. So I'm gonna use my glue on this one, adding in that 3D piece, a little bit on the edge. Mat that on there, like so. And then I'm just gonna quickly snip into the rows like so. So now I'm just gonna, again, because of all that detail, look at how those cuts allow me straight away without having to think about it, all of that definition, all that depth, all the dimension has already been designed into this for me. So I don't even have to think about it. Pop that on there. That is then how our beautiful split unity works. Isn't it wonderful? So that is with one of the other colorways as well. So there's such a difference that you can actually use many ways of using this. So thank you very much for coming along and joining us on our Facebook Live. I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of inspiration there for you. Don't forget to actually pop in your USB because that's where you're going to get those extra colorways, boosting your colorways up to 25 different colorways for each of your five designs. And we'd love to see what you use and how you use and make these. So pop on your posts as well. So I'll see you all again soon. Don't forget the comments on our Facebook and also on YouTube with the chance of getting those four giveaways. And we'll see you all again soon. Bye.